Welcome to Medical Nova Wellness Studio. I'm Angelica Maria Koch with the educational videos about optimal health and the most innovative and holistic approach to your well-being. Happy New Year and I truly wish you an inspiring and life-affirming New Year, especially after 2018. So I just returned from my trip from the UK and while I was enjoying my family during the Christmas and New Year's period, I also was introduced to the current superbug flu out there. Maybe hear it a little bit in my voice. This flu affects many people out there right now, not just in the UK and the US, but also worldwide. It is a combination of different strains of mutated microbes and therefore displays itself in a unique sequence of symptoms. Trying to find a one-size-fits-all remedy won't work here, even with alternative medicine. So if you can spot each phase, and then have your natural top indicated remedy at hand, you will go through this flu with ease. I've done it and also I've created and designed a unique personal protocol here, which I would like to share with you in this video, only available at Medica Nova Wellness Studio. Some of you might out there think, hey, if I get my flu shot before the flu season starts, I should be okay. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, that's not always the case. As we are bombarded with advertisements of yearly flu shots, let's talk about how you can prevent your colds and flus uh, with more natural protocols, but also free of side effects treatments. Remember, it is never the virus, the bacteria, any external stimuli which causes you to fall in the, in the first place. In my case, I just before I stepped on the plane, I just finished a three months really intense project, uh, which Yes, I was exhausted. And in the UK out there, in London, I was exposed to different temperature changes, overheated underground trains and then the UK chilly air. And during the holiday, of course, many people change their diet, exposed to more sugar and alcohol. It just suppresses the whole immune system. Germs and viruses in themselves do not cause the disease, but are a secondary reaction to an already weak immune system within your body. So some germs and viruses are actually part of the healing process as they initiate sanitation of the affected area. So if your nose runs and mucus comes out, it's a good thing. In fact, I refer to my flu as my detox of 2018. There are literally thousands of strains of influenza. The reason you can get the flu more than once a year is because viruses like bacteria are constantly mutating, which is referred as drifting or shifting. So if the virus mutates, changes slowly, we call it as drifting. And when it changes fast, we call it shifting. This is what makes it possible for you to get infected multiple times in a year. And also why it is impossible to accurately design a flu shot. Pharmaceutical companies produce yearly a new flu vaccine which uses only four to six strains out of thousands of different influenza viruses. So winning the lottery is actually much easier and it's just crazy. And flu shots do not work on the principle of boosting your immune system. In fact, they often suppress your immune system. And not to mention with it, on top of it, you get a cocktail of toxins like ethylene glycol, which is an automobile antifreeze, yes, formaldehyde, aluminium, mercury, and so on. You know, carbolic acid is a caustic poison. Who wants that while you're already suffering from flu anyway? Also, the latest scientific research informs us that frequent flu shots, especially among the elderly, and here I stress the elderly, can influence neurological diseases such as Alzheimer's. Influenza is a viral infection, so therefore antibiotics won't work, that attacks our respiratory symptoms, so the whole body is involved, in our nose and head and lungs and all of it. And it's different from the stomach flu, right? You don't have vomiting and diarrhea so much involved here. The causes are, you know, you get it travel through the air and droplets when someone with an infection coughs next to you, sneezes or talks, you can inhale the droplets directly or you can pick it up, you know, the germs from an object such as a telephone, computer, and then transfer them to the eyes, the nose or the mouth. 
People with the virus are likely contagious usually a day before the symptoms start, so up to five days after they experience the symptoms. If your immune system is a little bit weaker, it may be even stretching the contagious period up to 10 days before you have your first symptom. Children and people with a weakened immune system may be contagious a slightly longer time, but that's usually the average span. The symptoms, of course, are high fever, aching muscle, especially in the back, the arms and the leg. You have chills and sweats, headache, a dry, persistent cough. There's a fatigue and weakness involved, nasal congestion, can be ear infections as well. And the complications could go into bronchitis, pneumonia. Um, if you suffer from asthma, you maybe have an asthma flare-up, heart uh, problems as well as ear infections. But here's my personal protocol, which worked really well, not just with myself, but also with my friends and patients who I passed it on to. All suggested homeopathic remedies and supplements are available in your local health food stores. I don't make it complicated. But if you're in doubt, you're not quite sure, contact me at health at medicanova.net. I'm happy to help you. It really works. So I talked about this flu comes in different phases. And the art here is to spot the face. So let's talk about phase one. When you feel a little bit under the weather and you think, like, oh, I feel a bit chilly and cold creeping in my bones. Oh, I hope I'm not getting sick. That's the time you start the remedy. And here it is called Aconite 30. It's a homeopathic remedy you will get in your local health food store. You're going to start taking one tablet every two to three hours for one or two days. As soon as you feel better, you stop. This remedy is fantastic for the first stages when you are exposed to cold air. Right? You were running around, you know, like Christmas shopping. People were going in and out of shops, overheated shops, and then out in the cold air, another, you know, back into the warm shop again. And this kind of a situation really breeds the flu. During that time, I also want you to start taking vitamin C, 1000 milligram, three times a day, zinc, uh, 30 milligrams, once a day, and get yourself echinacea herbal extract. The liquid form, not the capsules, they won't work. If you get hold of a triple echinacea, it's like three different types of echinacea in one bottle, even better. Or you, sometimes you get a combination of echinacea and golden seal, that's fine too. One dropper three times a day throughout the whole flu season. As this very early stage, you know, in becoming ill, you also maybe see in the health food store this package with a very difficult name to spell, it's called oxylococinum. You can get this remedy in your health food store, as I said, um, even in pharmacies they sell it. Controlled scientific studies have proven that this remedy is effective in treating the flu particularly effective if taken during the first 48 hours. It only works then. Primarily helpful for flu symptom, rapid onset, you know, bursting headache, painful cough, just flu symptoms. But remember, it only works in the first 48 hours. If you take it at a later stage, in my experience, it can make the symptoms worse. Or it drags out the flu even longer. So you may be past the first phase and you know you miss taking the remedies and now you have phase two of this really unique flu and that's the painful earache. In my case I had a right-sided earache, throbbing pain and I knew what to do. I took the remedy Belladonna 30. One tablet every two to three hours for one day only and that stopped the earache. If you have children, for example, and they really suffer from extreme pain to the point that, you know, you, they're just screaming their head off, maybe give chamomilla 30 here. It works for both sides of the earache. And if you have a child or you feel very vulnerable, um, even feel like crying because of the earache and it's left-sided, then switch to pulsatilla 30. You know, here you can switch remedies back and forth because this flu comes in stages and you have to meet each phase. 
So you passed phase two, and now comes phase three, which is the body aches. My God, you know, your muscles will ache, you even have bone pains, you feel achy, you feel droopy, you feel like, oh my God, I, it's like I'm just a heap, I want to just stay in bed. Here, you start the remedy Gelsemium 30. Just fantastic, top remedy for this stage. Already you have a runny nose by then, which is bland, there's a lot of sneezing going on, and there's pain in the eyes and the head. As I said, you feel drowsy, there's frequent or violent chilliness going up and down your back, and your muscles are just achy. That's really the predominant symptom here. Now when you feel like, it's not just the muscle pain, but your bones are aching, right? When this flu is hitting the very core of you, your bones, you want to switch into the remedy Eupatorium Perfoliatum 30. One tablet every two to three hours, as long as you need it, usually for one or two days. And then you stop this phase very fast. Again, you have deep, deep, severe bone pains, especially, you know, often relieved by pressure or movement even. Uh, you have a fever, chill followed, even by vomiting of bile. And that's where it gets a little bit more intense than gelsemium. Shivering runs down the back, the same as gelsemium, spreads to the extremities maybe. Again, there can be coryza in sneezing. There's a lot of hoarseness at that time, maybe a loose cough and you feel sort of dry within your body. But the main thing you want to look out for are the severe bone pains. So you think, oh God, you know, phase three is over. I think I should kick this. No, now comes phase five. In fact, this flu has five stages. Can you imagine? It's like, it really took me a while to figure this out, but now I know it, I can help anybody out there. So phase four. You passed the sort of under the weather feeling, you know, the earaches, um, the bone pains. Now comes the sore throat. And this sore throat is very sharp. Very, I mean, you swallow and you feel like you have knives in the back of your throat. I also have seen mouth ulcers in people, like um, sort of white or uh, red circular patches at the edge of the tongue. Very painful, you know, stops people eating, for example. In this case, I found the remedy Mercurius Solubilis 30 or Merc. Uh, so very, very helpful. One tablet every two to three hours. Um, with a combination, there are called homeopathic biochemic cell or tissue salts, ferrum fos. Four tablets as often as possible, every one to two hours and it kills that sore throat. Some people out there might have now sort of hepatic eruptions under the nose. You know, some because your nose is just streaming all the time and you feel like, oh, you get a cold sore now under the nose. Go and get Natrum Muriaticum 30, one tablet every two to three hours, usually for a day or two. That will kill it as well. You know, these these mutated strains, they really move through the body. So some people have more the nose affected, the head cold affected, the lungs affected. And as it goes into stages, you have to have these first aid remedies at hand and it will kill it, you know, really nicely. And it pushes you very fast through this whole situation. Now people think like, well, why don't we give me one remedy and it stops it all together? No, that's not how it works because this stuff is moving throughout your body and you want to really hit each stage. So you are truly free of that and don't get another bout of flu 10 days later after you stop your antibiotics, which in this case really won't be helpful here. So now phase five, and this is, I'm sorry to say that's the nasty bit. Here you have the headaches, the runny nose, can be then even a blocked up nose, lots of sneezing and you have the inflamed sinuses. So the whole thing hits your head and not to mention by then you also have the cough. So if you have a runny nose, just water coming out of your nose, lots of sneezing, uh, watery discharge, 
think about the remedy Asenicum album 30. Fantastic! Discharge leads to a burning sensation under the nose, that's why you maybe get even a cold sore. Most of the time there's lots of sneezing involved. Definitely gets worse when you expose it to cold air. Being in the warm room may be a little bit better. Another striking symptom is you feel restless, thirst for small quantities of water at short intervals. Once the rose is running like a tap, it eventually will be congested. It clogs up and then you have frontal sinus congestion. So in the UK when I went through the pharmacies and sort of you know the health food stores there were just the shelves full of sinus congestion remedies because that's really what this flu is about. So go and get yourself the remedy Carlipic 30 and it really is helpful one tablet every two to three hours as long as you need it maybe for two or three four days at this point. And it opens the passes, the nasal passages, it clears out the mucus. And I said, you know, in combination with vitamin C, your echinacea, uh, herbal tincture, um, you will kick that phase. And it's really intense, the phase five. If the cough is more dominant also, and you feel like you have really um, painful cough, think about to finish this whole thing off with Bryonia 30. Indicated uh, when the flu is leading towards bronchitis or pneumonia. There are shooting pains and the muscles that are aggravated by the least movement, but you have this dry, hacking cough which causes a lot of pain in the lungs and chest, and there's a lot of sweating in the body. And of course, I didn't go there because I took all these remedies according to the individual stages and I didn't need to go there. I've seen my son, on, on the other hand, really. Uh, you know, I was thinking, oh my God, I have to take him to the emergency, right? So, um, follow this protocol and you will be fine. Of course, there are many more remedies which I can share with you, but this video is for the general public. And, you know, what I have just shared with you is more than sufficient to get through this cold. So let's talk about how to prevent your flu in the first place. And in this case, I want to share with you a homeopathic remedy, which is almost like a natural flu shot. It's called Influencinum 30. It's a homeopathic preparation of the vaccine that is manufactured each year. It is suggested that you take it once a week during the flu season, and more often if you're exposed in an office situation or by direct contact with an infected person. So you take it at the first sign of the symptoms developing and as I said two to three times a day and then um, once weekly. It's an intercurrent remedy when other well-selected remedies maybe not work so well and it is a preventative form. You know, uh, a flu season is called an epidemic so it doesn't matter what strain you're exposed to, start taking the Influencinum 30 and you might get away with it very nicely. But to finish this video, I wanna share with you an effective herbal recipe. It's called the Master Tonic, really super powerful. I want you to get a glass jar and about 24 ounces of raw apple cider vinegar. You also wanna get a quarter cup of um, organic garlic, which you mince, a quarter cup of organic onions, also minced, half a cup of fresh grated ginger, organic of course, and half a cup of uh, fresh horseradish if you get hold of it in a fresh form, peeled and grated. Two pieces of turmeric root, peeled and grated. If you don't get the fresh turmeric root, um, get two tablespoons of the turmeric powder. A quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a little hotness in there, and two hot peppers, you want to have the fresh and organic habaneros. It really gives you the kick. So you mix this all together, maybe put it in a blender and uh, the apple cider vinegar on top of it, close it and let it stand for about a month in a dark room. So really this healing properties, you know, have time to infuse into the brew. brew. Then take one teaspoon of this on a daily basis and mix it up with some 
juice and it not just only boosts your immune system but it will literally you know prevent you from um, you know sort of like being exposed or susceptible to the virus and the bacteria. If you follow you know these simple but super effective guidelines you should be fine and I got through it without any antibiotics within about nearly three weeks and I tell you I did really really bad in a sense and as I said my sons and my family members were also affected. So to stay updated with ongoing videos I encourage you to subscribe to my channel, share and like it with your friends and family and have a look at my online academy on my website medicanova.net where you will find comprehensive home study online courses in first aid homeopathy for the whole family and quantum healing. These courses are not just little courses, they're comprehensive, they're university standards because these courses I teach at the local university, I'm an educator as well. Uh, in the new year, I'm going to share with you a new course, Integrated Health Coaching. So anybody who wants to be a coach and wants to learn more about it, you're more than welcome. If you're interested in a personal health consultation for yourself or your children, contact me at health at medicanova.net. So till next time, much love and happy new year.